Welcome to the biology class, biological classification. Today let's study about bacterial conjugation. See, bacteria do not produce male and female gametes. There is no syngamy or fusion of gametes. So, there is no typical sexual reproduction. Instead, exchange of genetic material only takes place. This genetic material exchange is called as genetic recombination or sexual recombination. Genetic recombination occurs by three methods, conjugation, transformation and transduction. So, conjugation is one method of genetic recombination in bacteria. It was first discovered in Essertia coli by Joshua Lederberg and Edward Totem in the year 1946. This bacterial conjugation is a horizontal gene transfer process. It is a lateral gene transfer. Here, genetic material is transferred between unrelated organisms. There is another gene transfer, that is vertical gene transfer. Transfer of genetic material from parent to offspring. It is direct gene transfer. Again, it is the traditional inheritance of genetic material passing from parent to offspring and it takes place through reproduction. In bacteria, horizontal gene transfer only occurs. It is a transfer between two organisms that are not directly related. In this process, genetic material is transferred from one bacterium to another through direct cell-to-cell -cell contact. This cell-to-cell -cell contact is made in between two types of cells. One is male cell or F plus cell that is fertile cell or donor cell. And another one is female cell or F minus cell or recipient cell. So, conjugation is a process in which genetic material is transferred from a donor bacterium to a recipient bacterium through direct cell to cell contact. Now, let us see the steps involved in bacterial conjugation. First step is formation of sex pilus. In donor bacterium, apart from chromosomal DNA, there is another DNA. It is circular and double-stranded. This extra chromosomal, circular and double-stranded DNA is called as F plasmid, that is fertile plasmid. It develops a hollow thread-like structure. It is called as sex pilus. This sex pilus extends out from the cell surface. Sex pilus formation is controlled by a gene. This gene is located in the plasmid. So plasmid controls the production of the sex pilus. A particular gene present in the plasmid gives genetic instructions to form sex pilus. See, this is donor bacterium. It has two special features. One is presence of a plasmid and another one is sex pilus. Long tube-like sex pilus is marked here in lavender color. Plasmid is marked in blue color. It is circular and double-stranded DNA. It is extra chromosomal because you can see chromosomal DNA nearby. It is also marked in lavender color. Chromosomal DNA is present in all bacteria whereas plasmid and sex pilus are particularly present in donor bacterium or F plus cell. In recipient cell, these plasmid and sex pilus are absent. You can see the recipient bacterium here. So now, sex pilus is formed in donor bacterium. This is the first step. Second step is cell to cell contact. The sex pilus attaches to the recipient bacterium. So, a physical connection is established between the two cells. That is between donor and recipient cells. It helps as a bridge between two bacterial cells for gene transfer. Now, look at this picture. After the formation of sex pilus, donor cell comes nearer to recipient cell. With the help of this sex pilus, donor cell gets attached to the recipient cell. So, a connection is made between donor and recipient cells. Cell-to-cell -cell contact between a donor and recipient cell is shown here in this microscopic picture. The pilus now retracts or pulls. So, both donor and recipient cells are brought close together. Now, a link is there in between two cells by the sex pilus. Third step is transfer of plasmid DNA. In the donor bacterium, there is an enzyme called relaxase. 
it breaks one strand of the plasmid DNA at one particular point. This point is called O or IT or origin of transfer site. O or IT. Now, one strand of the plasmid is nicked. This nicked strand enters into the recipient bacterium. So, a single strand of the plasmid DNA is transferred from the donor bacterium to the recipient bacterium through the hollow core or hollow tube of the sex pilus. The other strand of the plasmid remains behind in the donor cell. So, both donor and recipient cell possess one strand of plasmid. So, after the transfer of plasmid DNA, each cell has one strand each. You can see the transfer of plasmid DNA from donor cell to the recipient cell here. Last step is replication and circularization. Now, from the donor cell, outer strand of the plasmid has completely transferred to the recipient cell. This transferred DNA strand is the template. So, it can synthesize its own complementary strand. This new strand is formed by rolling circle replication method. After the formation, this plasmid gets circularized by the action of the enzyme ligase. So, ligase acts as a molecular paste. It joins both the ends of the strand. Thus, a complete circular double-stranded plasmid is formed. Likewise, the plasmid which is left behind in the donor cell also makes its own complementary copy. Both bacteria now possess F plasmid and can make a sex pilus. So, after conjugation, the recipient cell turns into an F plus cell or donor cell. All the steps are here. In this diagram, in the first step, a sex pilus is formed in the donor bacterium and this sex pilus formation is encoded in the genes of F plasmid. Using this sex pilus, a link is made between donor and recipient cells. Through this link, one strand of plasmid is transferred to the recipient cell. After complete transfer, each single strand of plasmid present in both donor and recipient cell makes a complementary strand of its own. Thus, after conjugation, recipient bacterium is converted into donor bacterium because of the transfer of genetic material. This process is called as conjugation and in conjugation, Genetic material transfer or DNA transfer is through direct cell to cell contact. Now, significance of bacterial conjugation. In conjugation, plasmid with genes is transferred to recipient bacterium by horizontal gene transfer. So, new characters or traits are acquired by recipient bacterium. These new characters may be antibiotic resistance or disease causing ability or adaptation towards changing environments or metabolic capabilities. So, this transfer is horizontal gene transfer. Now, we shall discuss some neat questions and answers. First question, what is the function of the sex pilus? First option is it allows bacterial DNA replication. Sex pilus has nothing to do with this bacterial DNA or chromosomal DNA. So it is wrong. Second option, it is only present in the F minus cell. F minus cell is recipient cell. It doesn't have F plasmid or fertile plasmid. So sex pilus will not be formed. So it is again a wrong statement. Third option, it allows physical contact between two bacteria. Yes, it is true. Then fourth option. It is necessary for transformation. Sex pilus is formed only during conjugation. So, it is a wrong statement. So, answer is option 3. Second question. Select the incorrect statement regarding F plus bacteria. First option, it is F plasmid. It's a correct statement. Next, sex pilus does not present is wrong because sex pilus is present in F plus bacteria. Third option is correct statement. Fourth option, F plus bacterium cannot conjugate with another F plus bacterium. Yes, it can conjugate only with F minus bacterium. So, it is again a correct statement. So, correct answer is option 2. 
Third question. Which statement is correct for bacterial conjugation? First option. Transfer of some genes from one bacterium to another bacterium through virus. Through virus is wrong. Conjugation is through cell to cell contact. Second, bacterium obtains its DNA directly from its mother cell means. It is vertical gene transfer. Conjugation is horizontal gene transfer. So it is wrong. Next, bacterium obtains DNA from other external source. From external source is transformation. Again, it is wrong. Next, transfer of genes from one bacterium to another bacterium by establishing contact is correct statement and it is the correct answer. Option 4. Meet you in next class. Thank you.